Are we ready to meditate with Kari? Climb up into bed. Lay down in your favorite position, your most comfortable position, and get yourself ready. If this is your first meditation with Kari, welcome my little friend. And for all of those little angels that listen to me all the time, thank you so much. Today's meditation is a very magical story. To listen to the story, try and lay as still as you possibly can. Close your eyes and this will help you use your mind and your imagination to see all the different pictures and colors and adventures I'm going to tell you about. It's always nice if you start by taking a nice deep breath. Just to start to calm your body down after I'm sure a very busy day. Running and playing. Take another nice deep breath. Let me tell you about an old man I met one time. He was a very special old man. In fact, I think he was a wizard. He was so smart and very, very sensitive to the elements on earth. That means he was, he was very, he always knew when it was going to rain. He could read your mind when you were thinking about things. It just seemed to be very in touch with people. That's why I think he was a very special old wizard. He even had long gray hair just like wizards do. He told me one time that unicorns all different types of unicorns normally have their own individual, very special job. Not every unicorn is the same. Most of them are designated with a special power or a special gift that they come to Earth with and they share with all of the people on Earth very, very special. Also, he told me that you will never ever see a unicorn unless you believe in unicorns. I always remember that. Luckily, I believe in unicorns. There's a little boy I know and he's called Dan. Dan is only four years old. Dan, like a unicorn, has a very special gift. You might have this gift too. Dan makes people smile and laugh. does it all the time without even trying. 
He's just funny. And you can't help but be smiley and happy and giggly when you're in the same room as him. He's just so funny. Dan has a very special gift to make people smile and make people laugh. That's just the bestest gift of all, don't you think? Dan's mum bought him something very special for his birthday. Before I tell you what he got for his birthday, let's make sure you're staying very, very still and very, very quiet and you're listening to everything I'm telling you because it's all going to change into a very magical journey very shortly. Make sure that your feet are still and your legs are still. Make sure if you can to try and keep those eyes very closed. on his pajamas that was his favorite. That unicorn was white. And her horn, her unicorn horn, was all twisted and long and it shined with like silver glittery bits in it. It was so pretty. That unicorn was his favorite unicorn and they were his favorite pajamas. From his birthday on, he wore them as much as he possibly can. His mom had to take them off and wash them and dry them and make sure that he had them as often as possible because there was something very magical about those pajamas. Dan knew it. He felt different when he wore them. Something seemed to happen to Dan when he wore his unicorn pajamas. One thing he did know was that he always had really good sleeps. Whenever he wore his pajamas, he seemed to sleep in for longer. His dreams were very, very, very real. In fact, let me tell you what happens with Dan when he goes to bed in his unicorn pajamas. Just like you, he lays in bed in his most favorite comfortable position. He makes sure that the light is just right in his room. He closes his eyes and he starts to fall to sleep. relaxes his whole body, his feet, his legs, everything relaxes and before you know it he falls deep into sweet sweet dreams.
when he gets to dreamland, something happens. Something very magical happens. His favorite unicorn on his pajamas comes to life. He does a spin, just one spin, and in that one spin in his magical pajamas, it seems to pop, and all of a sudden, there in front of him, every single time, is his most favorite white unicorn with the silver horn. Her name is Rogue. She's beautiful. Dan always has a ritual. Somehow, he always has an apple and he gives her an apple as a little gift, a little treat when he first meets her. And she munches on the apple and kind of smiles at him. Dan and Rogue have a very special relationship. They're very, very good friends. But the cool thing about their relationship is this. Dan makes people smile and people laugh, remember? Well, so does Rogue. Her special power is to make people smile. Rogue, just like Dan, has a job. She uses a magical silver glitter that she calls giggle dust. And every night when Dan goes to bed, he climbs up on her back, holds on to her mane, her silvery white hair, and they go off on an adventure. Their job is to spread giggle dust, dust of joy, to all the people all over the world that needed. Rogue has this thing where she lifts up her front paws and then puts them back down lifts up her front paws and puts them back down just to make sure that Dan's holding on nice and tight. And when she does that, he makes sure he wraps his hands around her mane nice and tight so he won't fall off. And then Rogue knows he's safe and secure and they're ready to go do their job together. The third time she lifts up her front paws, they're up and flying. They fly up over the trees. Dreamland is a very pretty place. It has castles and kingdoms, lakes and valleys. And everything is lush and green with flowers all over the place. There's hundreds and hundreds of bees, happy, happy bees that, that eat the pollen on the flowers. There's butterflies. Dreamland is a very beautiful place. Use your imagination and imagine that you're just like Dan. 
and you're flying on rogue, flying up, higher, and higher. You feel very, very safe, so don't worry, remember, you're holding on very tightly to rogue's mane. Imagine the wind blowing through your hair. Imagine all the bright colored stars in the sky. Can you imagine? You keep going higher and higher until it feels like you're flying through the clouds. You do fly through the clouds. And on the other side of the clouds, it's like you find yourself flying over houses on earth, all different villages, towns, cities, all different places where people live. You have a job to do, remember? Imagine if you were Dan and you had two sacks of giggle dust on either side of your pajamas and you were ready and loaded to do your job. Part of Rogue's magical powers is to know when she's flying over a home where everyone inside needs giggle dust. Just like a dog, she seems to sniff them out and know exactly where to go. And then Dan, or if you're using your imagination, you have the job to sprinkle giggle dust all over the home. And of course it has magical powers. So magical that Everyone, including the goldfish and the dogs and the cats, everyone is touched by the giggle dust. When you've been touched by giggle dust, you're happy for a very long time. Imagine you're flying over the deserts, over the sand dunes. You have to fly all over the world, remember? And everywhere you go, when you look up, the sky is so perfect. full of all the different stars out there in the universe, planets. It's like you're flying between the stars. Sometimes you fly so, so high. can tell when everyone on earth is unhappy. She can tell when people are unhappy, when dogs are unhappy, when different animals out there, insects, whatever it is, Rogue always knows. And when she flies over a home or she flies over a hut in the middle of Africa. She does this special thing where she seems to waft her wings double time as if she was just like a hummingbird. And then she stays still but her wings get very, very fast. And when she does that, that 
That's when you know it's time to sprinkle your giggle dust. Rogue and Dan have a very, very important job, don't they? Because everyone needs to giggle sometimes. Everyone should be happy. Just keep using your imagination. Imagine that you're flying over all the different places in the world. If you could choose, where would you fly? Would you fly over Spain? Would you fly over Italy, where everyone seems to eat spaghetti? Would you fly over Germany or France? Where would you go? Dan would work alongside Rogue for what seemed like hours and hours and hours. But the funny thing was, he would wake up the next morning and feel so energized, so happy, even though it all happened while he was asleep. Dan knew that his favorite white unicorn on his pajamas was a very special unicorn. And he loved those pajamas. They were the best thing in the world. If you had magical unicorn pajamas just like Dan and every night just like tonight when you go to sleep and you go to dreamland you had a magical power and you had a job to do what do you think your job would be Make sure those legs of yours are very, very relaxed and still. After a long day of playing, I'm sure your legs are very, very sleepy. Imagine that your legs are just like big, big, heavy stones. Can you imagine trying to walk with big, heavy stones? It'd be very, very difficult. But that's what your legs are like. Big, heavy stones. And they want to lay and be still and get sleepy. Your hips and your back are all sleepy. Still using your mind and your imagination Make sure that you're thinking about what your magical power would be as you fall to sleep. I bet it's something very, 
very cool. Your tummy and your chest, all the muscles and the bones, everything is sleepy and comfortable and tired and relaxed. See if you can feel the ends of your fingertips relaxing onto your covers. Your hands feel heavy. Your wrists. Your elbows. Just like your legs, your arms. Can you imagine if they were made of stone? And they were so, so heavy. It would be very, very difficult to pick them up. That's what your arms feel like right now. So sleepy and tired and heavy. Just let your shoulders relax. Remember to breathe and every time you breathe in, ah, think about breathing in, relaxing thoughts, relaxing sensations. And when you breathe out, Breathe out and let go of your day, let go of anything on your mind, everything can wait till tomorrow, right now it's your sleepy time, time for you to go to dreamland, just like Dan. bet in dreamland your unicorn is beautiful just like rogue rogue is very tall and her white hair seems to glisten in the sunlight and then in the moonlight her silver horn seems to just vibrate as if it was like a torch really really brightly she has very long legs and long white mane what would your unicorn look like your head, let it just sink deeper and deeper into your pillow, your entire body is relaxed. doing so good at falling to sleep. I bet you're going to be in dreamland really, really soon in that beautiful place.
sleep, my little friend. I'll see you.